In this video, we will solve a problem where we have to look for vowels present in a string. So, how do we go about doing this? So, before we start, let's go and declare a variable of type string. And let's give it a text, hello world. So, we need to go and check that does a vowel exist in this text. So, before we do that, Let's remind ourselves what are vowels. So we need to make sure if there is A, E, I, O, U present in this text, right? So how do we go about doing this? So in order to do that, we'll be using uh, true and false to do this. So we'll declare another variable called vowel boolean, and we need to check is vowel present. Right, left name is, is vowel present, and this will help us to tell whether if there's a vowel in the text or not. And by default, there is no vowels in the text. So, in order to do this, we already have a string. So, we need to go through the entire string and see if there exists a vowel in that string or not. So, in order to do that, obviously, we have to look through that, right? So, let's create a for loop, and then we say int i is equal to zero, and i is less than the string dot length right and then we increment the i okay so now that we go through the loop what do we need to go and do inside a loop so we need to make sure that we go and pull out every character from the hello world string so let's go and declare a character right so here we go at position string and we need to pull out that position or that one character from that string. So to do that, remember, we go and call something called char at, char at what? At position i. So if you add zero, pull out for me h. If you add one, pull out for me e. If you add two, pull out for me l. Like that, it's going to pull out every character from that string. So what do we do after we have got that? So now after that, we'll write a if statement. So what does this if statement does? So in this if statement, we'll see if the character that we have pulled out is equals to any of the vowels, right? So what we'll do and say if that character is equals to A, right? Or if that character is equals to I, or let's say E, let's go in order. Or if that character is equals to I or oh, if that character is equals to O or oh, if that character is equals to U. If that character is equals to U. So what should I do if this are equals to this? So if you found that if the particular character is equals to one of these vowels, then you need to go and make sure that that variable is value present is equals to true. So from false, it goes and turn that into a true. And then the moment you do that, quickly break out of the loop. Stop the loop. Go and go and loop through the entire thing, right? Because we found the first character. Let's say, for instance, we got hello world, right? And we know E is a vowel, right? The moment you found a vowel, just break it, right? You don't need to go uh, through the entire, uh, what do you call, this variable, uh, the entire string, hello world, and then go and check if there are any more vowel present. Because the question asks, is there a vowel present? Even if there's one present, the answer should be yes. That's why the moment you found the first vowel, just quickly break the for loop and don't go and look through the entire thing because now we are wasting time because in the interviews, they do care about how much time it takes to run a program. That's why you quickly break this the moment you found a vowel. So after you break this, what do you do? You know that you have found your vowel. So we need to tell the user that if there is a vowel that exists or not. So we need to say, is vowel present? So if it's true, then we're going to tell them that, okay, there exists a vowel. So let's go and inform the user that, hey, so we'll tell them the vowel is present. We'll just say the vowel is present. Please don't judge my English. I'm a programmer. Then system 
dot out dot println we simply say the vowel is not present simply that if you made a v capital here let's make a v capital there okay so that's our program what we did was we have a string we look through that string we pull out each character from the string so for instance if let's say we had index 0 we'll just pull out h then we'll see if h is equal to any of this character it's not right so therefore uh that's not equals to true because it won't go to line 12. The moment it doesn't satisfy this, it's not going to line 12. We go and increment the counter and we move to index 1, which is E. So now char character is equals to E. It goes and check. Is it equals to any of this vowel? Yes, it's equals to E. So now it goes to line 12 and it sets the is vowel present to true and it breaks. The moment it sees break, it no more goes and increase the counter. It literally goes out of the for loop. And now it goes and say, okay, is vowel present is true? If it's true, then I'm going to say the vowel is present. And that's what the user is going to see. So in our case, that's what the user should see. So let's go and run this. Once we run this, we can see the vowel is present. But wait a minute. Imagine if the user is really angry and user goes on to type everything in the capital letter. The user goes and say, hello world. They are really angry and that's what they want to type. And that's what you see. And let's go and run this and see what the output will be like. And when we run this, we can see, oops, the vowel is not present. But that's not true, right? You can see E is a vowel and O is a vowel. We have two vowels. Still, it says the vowel is not present, which is not true. Why is it happening? It's because you can see in the character, we're only checking for the small letters. So here you have two options to go and do something like this. Or let's go to the new line. We can say character. Sorry, let me get rid of that angry character. Character is equals to capital A, but, and then do for E, for I, O, and U. But according to me, that's a waste of time, right? Why do you not go and do that for everything? Rather, we have an easy option, right? Oops, let's go and put a U. What you can do is, the moment you get the string from here, you can straight convert it to the lowercase. We got a function in Java or a method in Java that is called to lowercase. The moment you call this function to lowercase, what it does is it goes and takes this hello world and then it converts it to this. So now we don't have to go and write all the if cases again for the capital letters. So now simply, if we run this program, now we should see a proper output. Once we run this, now let's say the output, we can see the vowel is present and we can see now that is perfectly working, but we can't trust that. Let's write something without a vowel, right? Maybe B, C, A, D, right? None of them are vowel. And let's go and run that. Okay, great. It says the vowel is not present. That means our program is working. I'll leave this back to hello world. And this is how you do this program. So now you know how to write a Java program where you need to check if a vowel is present or not. Make sure you understand everything that I explained. If you do not, please let me know in the comment down below. And also let me know what kind of problem do you want to see that I can solve. Thank you very much for watching the video. Until next time, stay safe.